In this episode we'll be talking about 3D mice, actually the Space Mouse and the CAD Mouse, what they are and why you want them. This is the first in a series talking about taking your engineering setup to the next level. Stick around. So I'm going to start by setting the context. Now I've been using computers for over 38 years. What? Yeah, seriously. Pretty much before mice were even a thing. Over the years I've had light pens, touch screens, trackballs, tablets, mice, and then some more mice. And I've used them in different fields, including graphic design, software development, ECAD, MCAD, and engineering fields. Over the course of that time, compute has scaled, operating systems have become more robust, software has become more capable, and our abilities have grown. It's evolved right before our eyes, and along the way the tools that we use to be most productive have also changed. In the early years, 2D ruled. Whether it was Adobe, CAD, or Eagle, 2D was all you needed, and the mouse had long ruled supreme for its ability to integrate us with that 2.5D world on the computer. Lots of specialized devices have been introduced along the way with niche applications for a specialized purpose, devices that fill a need, complement an operation, or enable us in impossible ways. If you spend any amount of time in a 3D modeling environment, you know that a Cartesian-based input device isn't the best tool for the job. And while modifier keys can augment the input to work in lots of ways, it's not natural, efficient, or elegant in giving you the experience of working in 3D space. A 3D mouse, on the other hand, provides a way to move in any direction or rotation on any axis in a way that feels natural, natural for 3D tasks. Today I'm sharing the 3D Connects and Space Mouse. It's a 3D mouse that does everything I mentioned and more. But before I get too far, it isn't intended to replace your existing mouse. It complements your mouse and becomes your interface for many 3D design environments. It's a six degree of freedom input device for camera perspective, basically, and complements your mouse's ability to perform functional tasks simultaneously. Think of the device as a way to multitask using both hands in a world that's become modifier key laden. Here's a quick example to demonstrate what I mean by complement your mouse. Drawing on this 3D object with a mouse is equivalent to doing this. And drawing on the same 3D object with a space mouse and a mouse is like doing this. It just feels more natural. I feel fully engaged in the activity and I no longer feel constrained by using a single hand with modifiers to do everything. In its most simple form, that's what the Space Mouse does. It lets you use both hands as input devices in different ways, simultaneously. For those of you that work long hours designing and modeling in 3D space, that alone is a huge leap in ergonomics and productivity. Using the device in Fusion 360 and other professional MCAD software is like sticking your hand virtually in the screen and grabbing your object. All the ways that you can push, pull, twist, and tweak the cap are reflected on your object. It's incredibly satisfying and using your left hand which would otherwise be pressing modifier keys for mouse movements. In addition to the freedom, the 3D movement is independent of other activities being performed by the application. In most cases, I can manipulate the object in 3D space without interrupting what's going on. For example, when simulating toolpaths in Fusion 360 as the simulation is being performed, if I use the mouse to manipulate the camera, the simulation is paused for the duration of that move, and then it resumes the simulation once I finish moving. With the Space Mouse, all movements are synchronous, meaning they don't stop the simulation during the move. This gives you the freedom to look at the simulation from multiple angles without having to pause each time. Get it? These small things contribute to your productivity. In addition to being a natural fit for 3D space manipulation, the Space Mouse is also useful for hundreds of 2D software applications. You can find a complete list of compatible software on their website, which I linked in the description below. In most cases, a Space Mouse will provide zoom, pan, and macro capabilities that would otherwise require modifier mouse moves, like using Control, Alt, Shift, etc. Again, these are productivity gains that will allow you to manipulate your work in parallel with getting things done faster. So now that you understand the general benefits of the Space Mouse, let's talk about the different options. The Space Mouse comes in three versions, and while you may be satisfied with the controller cap six degrees of freedom alone, each version builds upon that to add additional buttons for hotkeys, modifiers, and preset views. This reduces the need to ever move your hands to the keyboard. The standard model provides the high resolution controller cap and two buttons. The two buttons display a fully programmable on-screen radial menu that you can perform your favorite application hotkeys with. 
The display comes in wired and wireless models. Now if you find yourself just making minor edits the majority of the time, this may be the right model for you. All the benefit of the controller cap without the big learning curve. Stepping up to the Space Mouse Pro offers 15 fully programmable buttons, the default layout consisting of 4 user buttons, 4 modifier, and 6 view buttons. All these buttons can be programmed however and whatever you want them to be. They can perform macro key combinations, application specific commands, and even launch external applications. The Pro model comes in wired and wireless models as well. If you're interested in the flexibility of having 15 programmable buttons and you're okay with the associated learning curve, then this model may be right fit for you. The keys allow you to do some serious work, reducing the time you need to interact with your keyboard. But if you're the hardcore engineer spending more than several hours a day in MCAD, ECAD, and design applications, then you'll want to look at the Enterprise model. This model has an LCD display and 31 programmable buttons. This thing is stacked with functionality, and the default configuration includes 12 application-specific user buttons, 8 modifier buttons, 11 view buttons. As with the Pro, these can all be customized to your specific needs. The LCD panel is a nice touch to visualize the application-specific buttons. The display updates as you move between apps and is very useful as a quick command reference. This sort of visual feedback is great when the commands are dynamic as they are here, and with all these buttons it's a big help. If you're a serious professional and want to plug in and be your most productive, then this is the model for you. It's going to take some time to personalize it to your specific needs, but once you do, you'll have the best setup. When using the device, the controller cap feels like it's floating in space. It can be twisted and moved in any of the six degrees of freedom with ease. And upon release, it just returns to center. All of the buttons have a silent, tactile feel, give you good positive feedback. And the device surface has a soft touch feel and a high gloss LCD panel. It's very high quality and has good wrist support. The only sacrifice this model makes is in portability. It only comes in a wired version and the device is substantial, weighing in at 752 grams or 1 pound 10 ounces. Additional specs can be found on their website if you want to size it up. This model provides the most capability of the three and it's basically the Lamborghini of the Space Mouse line of products. Regardless of the model you use, they all share the extremely accurate 6 degree of freedom controller cap which is the centerpiece of the design. Adding the Space Mouse to your setup will definitely up your design and engineering game. And you'll definitely want to make sure you pair it with a mouse that can deliver the same level of performance. For that, you'll want a high resolution mouse with a high polling rate. And fortunately, 3D Connects and also has you covered there. It's called their CAD mouse and it's designed with the same high quality of the Space Mouse. Designed for performance, supporting wired and wireless configurations, the device comes in left and right handed models, which is pretty unique. The mouse supports up to a 1000 Hz polling rate to give you instant, accurate, smooth movement. It supports their universal receiver, Bluetooth, or direct USB cable connection. The mouse has five programmable buttons, a menu button and a tactile wheel. It's also one of the few mice these days that have three dedicated buttons for the left, middle, and right mouse buttons. It's a bit of a throwback for me, and I'll have to get used to this again, but the additional button rather than having to use the wheel is a nice feature. It's a substantial device with the same luxury feel as the Space Mouse, weighing in at 139 grams or 5 ounces, with a soft touch matte black finish. While the device sports several oversized PTFE glide pads, you'll get best results by pairing it with their micro textured CAD mouse pad. And while the fit and ergonomics of this mouse feels substantial and high quality, the glide of the CAD mouse pad is like wet ice. The movement is crazy smooth and this thing just skates. While this device fits my hand, it may feel a little large for some, which may explain why they have a compact version also available. They have several versions you'll want to check out, so head over to 3dconnection.com. Now I could go on about the differences that these two devices will make on your experience and how much more productive I am in using Fusion 360 and other design software, but there's really nothing I can say that will let you experience it for yourself. My only advice is, if you're becoming more serious in engineering, design, or CAD fields, this is something that I'd recommend you invest in. Is it the last device you'll ever need? Heck no. Technology constantly evolves and things improve, but for now, this is a huge step in the right direction. Is it going to change how you work? Absolutely. But in a good way. The Space Mouse and CAD Mouse are your primary creative interfaces to 3D MCAD and design. And if you're ready for something better than drawing with a brick, then look into these two devices to refresh your experience and step up your performance. If you're interested in both, be sure to check out the kits they have available on their website. They may provide some cost savings and combinations that you may already be considering. In the next video, we'll be talking about engineering keyboards and what pairs best with this setup. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to be the first to know when that's released. 
That's going to do it for this video. If you like this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up to let me know you care. Oh. Thanks again for supporting the channel by watching these videos. And if you have any subjects you'd like to see covered in future videos, send a request to admin at DIY.engineering and I'll do my best to get them in the lineup. For now, be safe out there, have fun, and I can't wait to see you next time. I'm going to go play with my space mouse. Hey, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's how we're building the community. Also, allow me to bring better content. Also, check me out on these other social networks. There's lots of cool stuff there, too. Wait a minute. I thought we were stuck in a blender. Now we're saving lives? What? Uh, what? 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 <laughs>